Good day, viewers. Thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve this problem. Finding the value of x3 raised to power 5x minus 1 plus 3 raised to power 4 minus 5x equals to 28. And from here, we can apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n. So don't forget this will be equals to a raised to power m minus n. That is when we have division, you can write it like you know we subtract the power. So therefore, if it is written like this, you can also you know interpret it this way. So that means what I have here can be written as 3 raised to power 5x divided by 3 raised to power 1. Plus 3 raised to the power 4 divided by 3 raised to the power 5x, which will equal to 28. And from here, we can solve this further, and we say this will be 3 raised to the power 5x divided by 3, then plus 3 raised to the power 4 will give us 81. This is 81 over 3 raised to the power 5x, which is equal to 28. And from here, we have 3 raised to the power 5x, 3 raised to the power 5x. So let's use a letter. Now, let letter y be equal to 3 raised to the power 5x. So therefore, we can rewrite this equation now and say this will be y over 3 plus 81 over y be equals to 28. Now we can clear this fraction by using the SCM to multiply through. So let's use the SCM to multiply through here and the SCM here is 3y. So multiply through this equation by 3y. So we have 3y we multiply the first one. We have 3y multiplied by y over 3 then plus 3y we multiply 81 over y, then also 3y, we multiply 28. And uh, when we do this, this can be reduced to, so 3, we cancel 3 here. We have y times y, that will be y squared, plus also y, we cancel y. We have 3 times 81, that will give us 243. Then also on this side, we multiply 3, 1, 3y times 28, this will give us 84y. Then we can bring 84y to this side to form a quadratic equation. So we have y squared minus 84y plus 243, we then give us 0. Now, we solve this one, we can rewrite it minus 84y as minus 3y. Then minus 81y. So when we multiply it as well, we get plus 243y squared. Then we can balance it now and see this is y squared minus 3y minus 81y plus 243, which is equal to 0. So we factor it, we group it in two and we factor. So y comes out here, we have y minus 3 left. And also minus 81 here out, we have y minus 3 left, which is equal to 0. And from there, we have y minus 3 common, then we have y minus 81, which is equal to 0. So now the solution we have is y minus 3 equals 0, or we have y minus 81 equals to 0. So from y minus 3 equals 0, we can find the value of y and say this is y equals to 3. And don't forget the value of our y. We represented y as 3 raised to the power 5x. So we have 3 raised to the power 5x, we then give us 3. And this is the same thing as 3 raised to the power 1. That means we have the same base here. Then 
we can equate the power and say this will be 5x equals to 1. And when we solve this, we can divide both sides by 5 to get x. So x will then give us 1 over 5. So on this side, we have x equals to 1 over 5. Now let's check the other side now. When we have y minus 81 equals to 0, that means y is equals to 81. Taking minus here become plus. And also y is 3 raised to the power 5x. And uh, 81 can be written as 3 raised to the power 4. Also the base are equal. We can equate the power. We have 5x equals to 4. And to get x as well, we can divide both sides by 5. We now have x equals to 4 over 5. So we have these two values of x. Now let's check from what you are given. So to check now, to check in the equation given, we are given 3 raised to the power 5x minus 1 plus 3 raised to the power 4 minus 5x equals to 28. Now, for the first value of x, when x equals to 1 over 5, we have 3 raised to the power 5, then x is 1 over 5, then minus 1, then plus also 3 raised to the power 4 minus 5 into bracket 1 over 5 as x. Then we this give us 28. Now let's check whether from here we are going to have 28 as you know the answer on the left. So here, since this power multiplied, 5 will cancel 5. So we have 3 raised to the power 1 minus 1 plus also this power multiplied 5 we cancel to 5. We have 3 raised to the power 4 minus 1. We did give us 28. Then from here we have 3 raised to the power 0. So this is 3 raised to the power 0 plus 3 raised to the power 3. And 3 raised to the power 0 is you know 1. And 3 raised to the power 3 we have 27. And we, are, we know that 27 plus 1 is 28. So this is 28, which is equal to 28 on this side.